Grow Show for next video of the week. Last week we spoke about tricep dips and how to progress and going on to this week's video which is muscle ups. Muscle ups. Muscle ups. This is Johnny. Luke. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? One more time Grow Show for next. Uh, I want you before anything to like this video if you know what calisthenics means and also to like this video if you don't know what calisthenics means so just like this video and remember to subscribe to it and share, 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 share. Sounds like Chinese man after a while, but uh, anyway, we're gonna go into the first exercise of the day of how to do a muscle up. Uh, the muscle up being a kind of like it's a bit of a trick, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, combination of strength and technique. Yeah, strength and technique. So this is time and technique. So this one's a bit more technically based rather than strength based. Uh, so just take a little bit of time to practice to get into. But we'll get into it, we'll get stuck in, into the nitty gritty, and we'll go into the first demonstration, Luke. Scapular retractions. Scapular retractions. So, very first video. You've seen these before in our pull-up videos, so go and check that pull-up video out. And also the pull-ups are in there as well. We'll just quickly show you those videos now, just to quickly how to do it. We won't go over them, because uh, we've gone over them before. And of course, tricep dips also tricep being dips. there, which was last week's video. Yes, but you already know that. Yes, you do know that. <laughs> Watch our videos. Uh, right, anyway, so we're moving on to the first real exercise of how to do a muscle up. Lou. So, controlled leg swing. First one we need to look at hand positioning. Hand positioning, okay. So the reason for hand positioning is the conventional pull up, we're just going to grip the bar, stand the wrists nice and straight. However, with the muscle up, what we need to do is curve those wrists slightly, so your hands are going to be bent over the bar. Nice, nicely over the bar. Uh, that way when you swing and go over into a tricep dip, uh, which we'll see later on in the video, it will explain how to kind of get over it a lot, lot easier. Because if you kind of do like a regular pull up, you're never going to be able to get into that tricep position afterwards. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll start with uh, the first part and action. We have to break this down into small segments. Because if we don't, uh, it's very hard to explain how to do a muscle by just showing you muscle up. So uh, the first segment and the first way what we're going to start with, Luke, uh, our hand positioning is? Is the controlled leg swing. Controlled leg swing. Okay. As Johnny demonstrates. Yes. Okay. So uh, the controlled leg swing is where well, I mean, basically it's, it's just getting your core tight and just a slight swing outwards, just kind of like a little bit of a pendulum, very small swings, just keeping that core control, keeping the legs up at all times. As long as the legs are up at all times and you're keeping that core control, you won't lose any kind of uh, momentum as you go up into the full muscle up, uh, which takes us to the next stage, mate, which is momentum swings. So what we're going to do here is uh, start by gripping the bar and we're going to extend our body as straight as you can to the point where your toes can literally as far as they can reach. At that point then you're going to put uh, a marker on the floor, so like a small plate or a towel, or anything at all. And then using the exact same form that Johnny demonstrated, we're going to swing, we're going to just try and stamp on that that uh, marker that's on the floor and then explode back into a swing. So it's, it's still controlled, corsal, nice and tight, but you're just getting that, that swing a lot more momentum, but it's a technique. Yeah, and as we practice that more and more, uh, when we first started doing muscle ups actually, um, at first, we actually had to do you know, the, the prerequisite which we said in the last video: ten pull-ups, uh, ten tricep dips. Also, momentum building is something that you can do as well. So, if you're not getting very high and your head's not getting very high above the bar, uh, we'd like you to practice that a few weeks. So, almost like your you know your whole arm is practically over the bar, so you're flying above that bar towards the end, which takes it into our next demonstration, which is actually explosive uh, pull-ups. Yes. Uh, so, if you can explain that one for me, mate, that'd be great. Great. Brilliant. So, conventional pull up being a pull up, chin above the bar. With this one, what we're going to do is we're going to explode into that pull up and it should release our hands off the bar and then catch again back into the, uh, back into the pull up. So, you get explode up, release the bar, catch the bar again, and go back down into the original position. Yeah. So the reason for this is we build that explosive power. So, when you do the muscle up, you've got to really explode out of that movement. So, that's build that explosive power for you. Diary explosion. So, <laughs> not diarrhea exploding. Uh, if we do that, we want to uh, really question our diet. Uh, but anyway, we'll talk about that maybe in another video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next phase, uh, moving into the muscle ups, is actually getting to a full muscle up. Uh, but what we're going to do, a lot of people, even if they've got the technique down, they might not have that power yet. So in order to help a little bit, 
We're going to do uh, some band work. Um, yeah, uh, it's fairly difficult to get the band on. <laughs> so, uh, Sometimes it takes four attempts. <laughs> three or four attempts to get on. Uh, so if you've got a box, it's brilliant to uh, put your foot uh, on the box and then obviously yes. lower it onto there. Uh, Johnny's flexibility is not the best. Uh, but, uh, Once you're in that position, uh, Luke, if you could explain how to do a muscle up for us, that'd be great. Thanks. Alright, so we've gone through the previous points. What we're going to do here is use the grip we've got at the start, so wrists slightly bent over the bar. Use the momentum that we, we've learned with the marker on the floor. With your foot in the band, we're going to get a swing and then explode it up. And we're going to flip those elbows up, keeping them tight and head forward and then push into a tricep dip. Yes. Uh, and over emphasis on pushing the head forward. Uh, head forward is kind of like if you ever played football uh, or headbutted someone. Uh, you want to really just push through it. So it, as you go up, you go over and you push through it. Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> Once you've got Zinedine Zidane out of the way, you then want to try to dip up. You should be in that perfect position where your chest is right over the bar, so you're able to try to dip over it. If you're too far back and leaning back on it, you're going to fall back down. So uh, the football position is very important when doing the, uh, the that area. Of course, you should be able to do tricep dips quite easily if you're able to do a muscle up. So that is the final stage. Uh, Just make sure you're keeping your your body weight shifting forward. So with your legs, as you're swinging up, keeping them pointing forwards, not letting them swing behind you, because then you'll, you'll lose that, yeah. that ability to throw your body weight forward. Yeah, your center of gravity will pull, pull you away from the bar yet yeah, again, which takes you away from the bar, which unfortunately is going to send you that direction you go crashing back down as usual uh, but uh, that is basically how you do a muscle up the same way from the band to a full muscle up they're pretty much the same technique it is technique based more than anything so don't just try and throw over into it uh, there is some bad examples where people do throw over into it and their elbows go in quite yeah. funny positions so they, they think it's more of a pull up and then some tricep, uh, tricep dips so they're sort of pulling up throwing themselves over Let's give an example there um, side. So it's yeah. no technique, it's literally just launch yourself up and over a bar and it doesn't look yeah. very appealing either. Yeah, exactly. So if that's what you're doing, uh, then what we'd like you to do is go back into the regressions and go back to the momentum building. Once you've got, like I say, once you've got yourself right over the bar, your chest should be going right over the bar, that's when you're going to be in a perfect position to be able to do a muscle up. Yet again, it's not necessarily about power, it's more about technique, so don't be get frustrated. It can take three to four weeks to even get to a stage where you can do a full muscle up, even if you're good at doing pull ups and of course doing tricep dips as well. Um, it will click eventually. Yeah, it's a feeling as well as a technical based thing. You'll understand where the position is and when to go in and out, uh, which we've got actually one more uh, that we can show you. Uh, well, there's two variations. There's a false grip muscle up, yes, and we've also got a ring muscle up. So different variations, different gyms have different styles of training. Um, if you're really good at the the full muscle up, uh, false grip muscle ups are more like a static variation. So it is kind of like more like a pull up, but the position of your hands is a lot different. Uh, so Luke, if you could go into that demonstration for me, that'd be great. Yes. So with the full grip muscle up. What we're doing is our conventional hold is the bar is just over. We're still gripping the bar, but our hands are just on top of the bar. With a false grip, we're moving that bar close down to our wrists. So we're literally hanging over the bar, and it's more of a wrist pull up. So you're going to pull yourself up, elbows nice and tight. And then as you, again, the same with the muscle up, as you start to lean forward, with your elbows tucked in, you grip the bar into a tricep dip. So you remove the momentum part of the muscle out, you're just pulling up twist and press. It does require a lot more power and control, um, but once you've got the muscle up done, again, a few more weeks of practice and you can get it spot yeah. on. Yeah, it is a lot, a lot more power. So people are aware of training at pull-ups and yeah. triceps, they should do this, I'd say relatively easily, but with a bit of practice and a bit of time, 
Uh, as long as the hands, kind of the balls of the hands, and you're resting right over it, you should be able to get into that dip position, which is the perfect uh, way to get to a force grip muscle up. Um, which leads us into our next exercise the Olympic ring muscle. Uh, yes. Um, in my opinion, the most fun version. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so with Olympic ring muscle up, very similar in terms of the grip. But what we're going to have here is the, the ring is going to be sort of over your wrist and then through in between your thumb and your index finger. And you're going to turn your wrist in so that your palms are facing you, those rings wrapped around your hands. So what we're looking to do now is we're sort of in like a chin up position. Uh, so we're going to pull up as if with the chin up, elbows tucked in tight. And then as we get into that same sort of position, hands close to your chest, elbows tucked in, we'll do our header forward and then dip out of the rings. Yeah. Again, it is a lot of control and yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, with the uh, the rings uh, emphasis on keeping them tight, tight, tight to the body. The moment you pull it away even slightly, the rings are very unforgiving. So the rings probably are the hardest variation of the yeah. muscle up. Um, as you kind of like pull in and pull through, your elbows kind of turn the other direction and you go into the tricep dip. The second your elbows flare out, you lose all tension yeah. and there's literally no chance. So it's the same as a regular tricep dip. Don't flare out your elbows, keep them pumped in at all times. But the better, the more thin you are, the better center of gravity you have, because uh, obviously everything's connected there. Uh, if uh, your triceps and your shoulders are connected to your back, it means connected to your obliques, your abs, your glutes, and you can lock everything in place. If everything's connected, everything works better, you can get through the momentum a lot easier. Uh, of course, if you just kind of swing through it and your body's quite loose and your arms come out, it's going to be a lot more difficult and probably nearly yeah, impossible, to be honest. Your body is one unit, so use it as such. Yeah, yeah. One unit. One unit. One vision. And that is pretty much our muscle up video. Is it? So we don't have any really update news at the moment because our military uh, challenge has been before a few, isn't it? Yeah, uh, sort of. Yeah, I'm, I'm running regularly against my will. I can't. So I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a challenge for me because the, the will to actually run yeah. isn't there, so I'm having to like, force myself to do it. So it's, it's, it's slow, but. I'm, I'm making progress. Yes, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of just gone, I've kind of gone to Muay Thai a little bit and uh, started practicing that uh, with one of my good friends, Dan. Uh, doing a lot more skipping, kind of that, that kind of stuff. A lot more cardio based mm. in terms of martial arts. So I'm hoping that crossover will come into the running a little bit. However, we all know that in order to do something, you have to do that exercise. They don't yes. always cross over. Uh, so. Um, on that Watch note, space. <laughs> uh, you will see Luke probably passing in the next six weeks and me probably not. So enjoy our videos in the coming weeks guys and we'll see you soon. See ya. Bondoosh.